God's servant. Devotion for today. Isaiah 50, verse 4 through 6. Sovereign Lord has given me a well instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary. He wakens me morning by morning, wakens my ear to listen like one being instructed. The Sovereign Lord has opened my ears. I have not been rebellious. I have not turned away. I offer my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pulled out my beard. I did not hide my face from mocking and spitting. Two remarkable things are described here by the servant. He says that first, morning by morning, God has taught him truth because he listened to his father. Remember that many times Jesus said in his ministry, the things that I say to you, I have heard from my father. Again and again, he made that claim. He had the ear of a learner. He poured over the scriptures. He saw himself in them. He understood what his work would be. There came dawning into his heart the revelation that he was to endure anguish, pain, and rejection. But as he says, I was not rebellious. I was willing to go ahead. I gave my back to the smiters and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. It is well for us to remember frequently the sufferings of Jesus, the sheer physical agony that he went through. Think of the Last Supper when he said his soul was exceeding sorrowful unto death. The shadows of Gethsemane among the olive trees, his loneliness, his prayers, his disappointment with his disciples, his bloody sweat, the traitor's kiss, the binding, the blow in the face, the spitting, the scourging, the buffeting, the mocking, the crown of thorns, the smiting, the sorrowful way, and the burdensome cross he had to bear. Think of his exhaustion, his collapse, the stripping of his garments, the impaling on the cross, the jeers of his foes, and the flight of his friends, the hours on the cross, the darkness, his being forsaken of God, the terrible cry of anguish, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And then, the end at last, it is finished. This is all seen in anticipation by the prophet and was fulfilled in Jesus. It is well to remember what the book of Hebrews says. We have not a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. He has been through it all. He was in all points, tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Lord Jesus, thank you for being obedient to your Father. Thank you for enduring so much so that I might be set free.